Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today is a Tag Tuesday, but yesterday was my anniversary birthday on BookTube. Yay! <laughs> so oh, I have been on BookTube one year and I just wanted to take a minute just to celebrate and to thank everybody who's part of this journey with me and just go over the tag and just talk a little bit about my experience. Maybe if you're watching and you're on the fence about it, you can be inspired to consider joining in and making the videos. And if you're one of my fellow creators, I just want to take extra time just to love on you and tell you just how much it is meant to me to learn from other people, to hear other points of view. I just have discovered so many new books and just information just about the world, right? Because this is a global community and that's just amazing. This was originally created by Average Joe Reads. I will leave that link below. Uh, the first question I've already answered, how many years are you celebrating? And the second one is, how have you changed since your first video? So I don't know that I have changed substantially. I had already done some YouTube on another channel. So kind of my style has pretty much always been just hobby, laid back, casual, put out what entertains me or brings me joy, and hopefully that does the same in return for other people. I have gotten a little bit better, particularly in the past year on editing or figuring out ways to insert or to add little things, but I still don't spend a lot of time at it, so that's probably my adding on to this question of what I might like to try to continue to improve. Number three, what has kept you motivated? Learning. I just love to learn the new books out there, learn about people. I just, I just like to know about the world and I just feel like this is an organic way to learn about people because we get to decide what it is we put out there for people, right? So when you're watching somebody's video, you're really getting, in my opinion, a firsthand look into something more genuine that's not just TV scripted or you know Hollywood produced. So I personally like that and gain a lot from that. Uh, for three favorite videos, probably my newbie tag, which also is my most popular and my most watched video. I felt really good about that one. I just did it pretty much on one take with minimal editing. I just was ready to go. It, I angst over starting. And then once I did, it just felt very real and like this is what I supp was supposed to be doing. I, I, my favorite videos are my review videos. I really like sharing my books. I'm passionate about books. I will tell you spoiler free what I think about books and I enjoy doing that. Those are my favorite books. I also really, really was proud and enjoyed doing a book tag. I was very, very nervous about that, but it was just amazing that even now I will get an at mention and there will be a whole separate language. Like I don't even understand the words coming out of their mouth, but they're doing my book tag and it's just very humbling. It's just very honoring that we can share and create these things that connect us. And I just, I just am very humbled and very honored and just find so much joy in that. What have you struggled with and how have you overcome it? My biggest struggle, if I'm totally honest, because I did think about this a minute when I was glancing over these questions, and it's like my biggest struggle is actually the amount of booktubers out there that I would like to get to know better and that I would like to watch all their videos. But to be honest, that's just so much content, so many hours, I just can't do it. And so the struggle has been, where do I find those book to people that I am most affiliated with, most connected to, most getting the most out of, and watching all of their videos, then having another subgroup of another you know, dozen or 20 that I watch once a month, you know, to check in, but I'm not watching every single video that they make. And then there's another handful of 
20 or 30 that I probably watch one every quarter just to keep a pulse on them. Uh, and a lot of times these are the really big booktubers, right? For me, it's the ones that are really, really successful that I don't watch all of every single video they put out because I want to watch and support some of the smaller, more new growing channels. So that's just been my struggle and, and kind of how I've decided it works for me. This is not something I'm trying to be professional and make a ton of money. I'm just trying to be a genuine girl that wants to share her love of books, hopefully inspire somebody else to read some books and learn from other people about the world, about them, and about some books. <laughs> I like books. It says, choose a moment from the last year on booktube that you would like to relive. And really, it's, it's not one particular moment. It's just the whole entire feeling of these are my people. Like every time I like watch something that I really connect with, every time that somebody leaves me a comment that is just so spot on or so my humor, or I love when I leave a comment on somebody else and they like, LOL or they, they like they they appreciate they got the humor of my comment like every once in a while I might be even a little sarcastic you know how it's hard to read people and when somebody gets me that just makes my day it's a little things in life just saying the best book that you've read this past year so if we're talking about the whole past calendar year I get to include my best book of last year which would have to be Brandon Sanderson's Rhythm of War and I just love this Stormlight series, this epic quest of fantasy. If we're talking this year, it actually is currently standing at a nonfiction book, Beneath the Tamarind Tree. This is a true account following four different girls as they were interviewed and documented that were kidnapped by the Boko Haram in Nigeria because they were girls going to school, trying to get an education. And that wasn't, you know, the militant group was not about that and were trying to cause trouble and kidnap 279 girls. And it was just harrowing, well told, just beautiful, beautiful story. Best book so far. Um, it says, shout out to supporters of your channel. So I am going to list the supporters of my channel that do not have regular book channels um, or YouTube channels that I can watch because I actually don't get a good opportunity to actually thank them. Um, these are, you know, Jennifer, Joe Ray, the Janine, Jamie, Tina. These are the, I don't know that there's a lot of men, although I do have men that watch my channel now that I talk about books and not just clothes, so <laughs> that's good. Um, but I have these regular women that will stop by and chat me up and I just really, really see you, appreciate you, even when I don't get a chance to like comment back directly on your videos. I really appreciate you taking time to comment and just commenting back on your comments. So thank you for being part. Where do you see your channel in this time next year? So hopefully I get even better at doing some edits, doing a little bit more consistency maybe, and just continuing to be a good supporter of other channels. It wouldn't be a bad goal also to get over a thousand. So I think I currently have like 780, which let me just pause and say, I mean, that's twice as many as in my graduating class. <laughs> that's like, and I didn't know everybody in my graduating class, you know, like when I really stop and wrap my brain around people being willing to subscribe and follow me, I'm just, again, very humbled and honored and just love this little community. It's like when we go into that bookstore and we smell those pages and it just takes us to our happy place, y'all are my people. I'm just, not everybody in the world does this, <laughs> but but my viewers, they get this, they get this. And I'm, I'm just so excited about it. And um, you know, it would be nice to have a goal to get to that thousand, um, but I'd rather have the right people. Like, and sometimes I feel like I 
am really, really honest and I really dislike something that is maybe real popular or I really love something that everybody else is kind of like angsting and hating on and I'm just like, I was so entertained by this. And, uh, you know, but I feel like I have to be real even if it were to off-put people. And that's just what you see is what you're going to get. So that's where I see my channel. Uh, tag people who have birthdays coming up and it's really awesome because like when I think about the people who most support me who are on booktube most of them started channels just anywhere from one to three months prior to me and I just got swept into their excitement and they took me under their wing and you know were awesome so they just had their birthdays a lot of them made this birthday tag I do have a couple people to mention MJ from Reading This Life, I know she started a month or so after I did, and so I'm going to tag you. You may already be planning to do this. And then also, I wanted to tag Brandon at Brandon's Bookshelf. He was a huge, huge supporter of me, and I know we don't even see eye to eye on a lot of books or even philosophy about life, but we just had really respectful, engaging comments back and forth and I miss his channel. He hasn't posted now in like eight months, but for like the four months that he posted, he, you know, was over a thousand <laughs> subscribers. Just very, very good. So check out his channel. Go down and subscribe if you are interested in philosophy or any of the videos. He has got a lot of really creative stuff over on his channel and maybe leave him a message and maybe he will come back and do some more including a birthday tag. So it would be great to have him back. So that is going to be my birthday booktube tag. I uh, thank you for stopping by and celebrating with me and look forward to this next year. And if you have any suggestions or comments or things that you know, you either support what I said or maybe you want to even push back a little bit on what I said or offer a different suggestion or perspective or, hey, I really would like you to do more of this or that or the other, leave me a comment below. I totally, totally will take it into consideration. Uh, I'm at the office, not at home today, and thank you for dealing with the messy bookshelves. I feel like if I had like this as my bookshelves to send in to, um, Daniel Green. <laughs> I could get roasted really good. What do you think? <laughs> I, I'm family life director right here. All the goodness. <laughs> y'all have an awesome day. Take care. Peace, y'all. Happy reading.